Hey, what's up, YouTube? It's David. Uh, sorry, it's been a while since I did a video. I uh, was gonna do a video yesterday on an unboxing I did, but my camera died. So we're doing it now. It's kind of an unboxing, I guess. If you follow me on Facebook, you already know what this is. If not, this is gonna be a surprise. Here we go. This is a Berkline male hypo boa constrictor. This thing is awesome looking. Let's place them down. He's a cool looking snake. My first boa constrictor. The only reason I got him is to be a garbage disposal. And um, he's the only snake that I'm giving a name to too. His name's Zeus. I figured I'd name him Zeus because he's um, going to be the biggest snake in my collection. He's going to be as tall as me, if not bigger. So why not name him Zeus, the god of gods? Okay, so that's the boa constrictor. I'm gonna let him do his thing. Still getting used to handling him because they act different than um, ball pythons. I had a couple other snakes that, like two months ago, or I mean a month ago, a month and a half ago, I didn't realize I haven't shown you guys yet. If you see my Facebook, um, you've already seen pictures of them, but you haven't seen them on uh, YouTube. So here she is. Here, we'll actually place her right here. This is my Graziotti line 2009 female cinnamon. She's a pretty cool looking snake. I love the cinnamon gene, so this is um, cinnamon number two. And I got another one I'm about to show you. Oh, come on, look at that. She barely wants to move and now she wants to try to get out. Okay, and this is my third cinnamon, here we go, this is a 2010 BHB line uh, cinnamon, step back real quick, he's pretty cool looking but my 2010 female cinnamon I still think is my coolest looking cinnamon, these are both BHB line cinnamons. You kind of tell the resemblance. The cool thing about him, if you look at his head, he has a very like ghost out kind of um, the line that goes through the eye. Unlike her, who, ooh, she's not happy. You can see her, her line's a lot more defined. So, let me put them back. So that's three cinnamons. That's a 2010 female. Uh, BHB line, a 2010 male BHB line, and a 2009 Graziani line, female. So, I'm really amping up the cinnamons. Um, uh, this is my future um, hatchling rack. Haven't finished it yet, so it's kind of not the easiest to get tubs out of. But I also didn't tell you guys I acquired four other snakes. Ah, oh, she peed. These guys are little. Still having trouble getting them to take meals. You guys probably can't tell, it just looks like a normal. This is actually a head albi or a het pied. So, place her back down. So that's a het pied. I got four het pieds. I got two males and two females. So we're looking at some pie balls. So I actually have a total now of three female het pieds, two male het pieds. And the reason I got two male het pieds is because uh, most breeders know sometimes males just um, really don't get into it. Really just, I mean, their first year might not get into breeding. So I have some backup for it. I'll also do a little update on some of my newer snakes that I have. This is my pastel, 2011 pastel female from Ben Siegel Reptiles. This thing is looking killer. I mean a really busy pattern, but she's really starting to get a lot of yellow to come out. She has a lot of black in between the alien heads up uh, on her neck area 
she's oh, and she's a champ of a feeder. She's already doubled in size for me. So she's a cool snake. I love her. Then another 2011 that I got from Ben Siegel is my Enchi. He's doubled in size and he's looking amazing. That is an awesome looking Enchi. Starting to develop a little more yellow. Really good looking snake. Okay guys, eh, I'll go out on one of my originals. The favorite, the one that keeps looking better, this is the Spider. 2010 Justin Kabulka line. Put him right here. He is just getting better with age. He's getting a lot of more he's getting a lot more gold up here. He's getting more orange on his belly. Don't know if you can see that because of the shadow. Let me flip him upside down. There's his orange. He does have some head wobble, so he has problems getting turned back once you put him upside down. He is puppy dog tame. Every snake I've got from Justin Kabulka is just puppy dog tame right away. And they feed amazing. This guy has never turned down a meal for me, even when he's been in shed. So, we're going to go out on him. The spider. One of my favorite base morphs. You go into so many things. If you don't have a spider in your collection, get one. Okay, I'm out. See you guys.